I feel like a lot of you aren't sold on the importance of having a very powerful laptop. So that's why when Lenovo Legion and Microsoft reached out and offered to sponsor today's video, I went ahead and jumped at the opportunity because this laptop right here is probably a lot more powerful than you were actually expecting. So make sure you guys watch until the end of this video because we have kind of a twist. We kind of took a different take on the way we did this particular laptop video, something different than we've ever done before. So I want you guys to uh, actually experience the way we set this up because I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. So what we have on the table right here is a Lenovo Legion 7 16 inch AMD gaming laptop running Windows 10. AMD has quickly been making uh, a splash in the uh, laptop industry, especially over the last couple of years. They completely shook the market up with the Ryzen desktop processor and it's now made its way, especially with Zen 2 architecture, into laptops. What that means is higher IPC, higher power efficiency and higher core counts, but for a heck of a deal when it comes to performance to cost ratio. So this particular unit is featuring an AMD 5800H eight core 16 thread processor. It's got 32 gigabytes of RAM, a one terabyte NVMe SSD, as well as an NVIDIA RTX 3080 laptop edition GPU. So as you can see, it has got a lot of power, but the monitor on this laptop is something unique. It's a 16 inch 16 by 10 2560 by 1600 IPS pre-calibrated from the factory, 165 Hertz refresh rate. So it's got literally the best of the best when it comes to the, the panel specs itself. It's not 4K, it's not 1080p. In my opinion, it's perfect in the middle. You get a little bit of extra vertical height with that 1600 versus 1440, making it feel much bigger than it actually is. It feels like you're looking at a 17 inch, but it, the actual size of it when you handle the unit feels about a 15 inch. So it's kind of this perfect middle ground that I hadn't actually really played with their experience before, which made this an interesting and unique laptop to take a look at. Let's talk about the lighting for a second. It's one of my favorite things about the Lenovo laptops is the fact that not only do you have regions that you can set up, right now we have nothing on, which is honestly the most understated way of having your laptop show, but this is perfect for if you wanna take it into, like I said, into work or something like that. But if we go in here and lo load up IQ, they do have a collaboration here with Corsair, so they use IQ for their lighting. The default mode is as you would expect, the RGB and such that you would see from IQ doing a rainbow mode. You can see you've got this nice bright edge lighting right here that's on the front of the laptop, keyboard lighting, vent lighting, and that wraps around the side as you can see right here. Vent lighting in the front and in the rear, and the Legion logo also lights up as you can see right there. But the nice thing about IQ is you can obviously go in here and then just set up various modes as you want. So this is simple mode. This is how I keep my laptop, uh, the Lenovo Legion, because I think that the teal blue goes really well with the gunmetal color of the laptop. Or you can just set up a profile for off, which is really nice. So when it comes to lighting, you can have just, you know, a disco nightclub or just turn it off. Now in terms of gaming, it, what do you expect? It's a 5800H at over four gigahertz of turbo clock, 32 gigabytes of RAM and an RTX 3080 laptop, edition, uh, laptop GPU in here. It doesn't matter if you're playing indie titles or even AAA titles found on Microsoft's Xbox Game Pass. Super smooth frame rates and a responsiveness that you would find in a desktop all crammed down into the 16 inch Lenovo Legion 7. But this laptop is obviously more than just a gaming unit. Obviously with this level of specs, you, it could be a perfect mobile creator station. So it doesn't matter if you wanna do live streaming, if you wanna do content creation or video editing, photo editing, it, it can pretty much do anything that you throw at it. Now, one of the things that we've really kind of gotten into this year as we were trying to find hobbies to occupy our time while you can't necessarily go out and buy graphics cards or build computers, is getting into FPV drones or first person view. That's where you put a headset on your eyes and you basically are looking from the drone's perspective and you fly it around and do the best you can not to hit yourself, your friends, cars, or anything else that might be in the way. But one of the ways that I've been practicing with that is to hop onto a particular simulator called Liftoff using my exact controller, fly around, get used to the controls, and then go into the drone and start flying it around. So we figured the best way to actually demonstrate this laptop and its performance to you is to come out here into good old nature and see if we can take something from the simulator and transform or translate it into actual real world practice. So we've got our Lenovo Legion set up here and we actually have the game Liftoff found in Steam and my actual controller set up, this is the same one I actually fly with, in the, shut up bird, 
But this is the same controller I fly with, so it's gonna at least get me used to the controls. And then we have a drone set up in here that's very similar to the one that we fly. And we're in a wooded area, which very similarly matches where we are. So one of the things I wanna work on today uh, by using not only just showing you guys the mobile power of the Lenovo Legion laptop here so that we can you know, practice, but I want to—I just want to come out here with an actual goal in mind. And one of the things I've been trying to learn with the drone is a clean split S maneuver, which is pretty difficult. I actually, well, it's actually not difficult if you know what you're doing, but for someone learning, I prefer the low and fast method of like running through tr uh, uh, gates and stuff, trying to go as fast as you can in the lap. I guess that's the racer mentality of me. Phil is very much into the acrobatics of doing aerial stunts and tricks and, and over trees and through gaps and, and whatnot. I firmly believe in simulators to get practical experience so you can learn how controls work before you go out here and potentially crash uh, you know, a, an expensive drone into the ground or get it stuck way up there in a tree, which I just reminded myself we didn't bring anything to get it out of the tree should we get it stuck up there. So don't get stuck. So that's why I brought two drones. So. We'll go over, I like to do a half loop and then a half roll and then level it off and then go back under the tree. Now it seems really basic and we've talked about this before, I've flown fixed wing RC yeah. and fixed wing always has forward momentum. Yeah, And exactly. one of the things you forget about with a, with a quadcopter like this is the fact that as soon as you stop giving it throttle, you immediately stop your momentum and it slows down. Which is basically fast. like, <laughs> I, if you were used to flying fixed wing, then your split S's in a fixed wing would pretty much look like this, where you go over, you fly over it and then you do your half roll and then level it off and then Which go Which seems under. much more natural to me. I like to see the entire obstacle the whole way through, so that's why I do that half roll first and then, or sorry, half loop first and then level it off. Top. I think it's important to note too that this is in acro mode, which means when you let go of the stick, it doesn't self-level. Yeah, exactly. It just stays wherever it you're pointing it. <laughs> and so you, it's on you um, to keep control over the drone and everything. So throttle up, kick it over the tree. Uh, <laughs> hey, you, you it's counted. ugly, but yeah. it's always so much easier and more confident, inspiring in a game because you're not gonna actually lose or damage anything. That's so cliche. I know, but it works. Hey, look at that! There you go. Nice. I'm gonna show people. This is the kind of way. This is the way I like to fly. Yeah, just cruising. Oh. <laughs> that is exactly that's, how you fly. That's exactly how he flies. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try it one more time, and then maybe what we'll do is. We'll fire up the real drone and we'll compare it. If I can get the split S down, then maybe we'll work on a different maneuver. Yeah, and it's running it so smooth I can focus on what I'm doing and not about how it's actually playing the game. Getting better? Yeah, it's big and ugly, but I just like it. me. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Yay. There it ah. is. That's <laughs> <I'm laughs> <I'm laughs> <laughs> fine, whatever. <laughs> All right, show me what it looks like with the real thing now. Uh, <laughs> And real, and real quick for the audience, so people don't know how these headsets work, we can tune into each other's video channels. So I'm watching and seeing exactly what he sees, and you guys are seeing it on the screen, obviously. So up and over, half roll, and then back under. I'm scared, because if I mess up, it's coming towards us. <laughs> well, you can, you can do it from the other side here. We'll go over here. I feel like I want to go that way. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So you just power over it. And then when I'm looking straight down, I do my half I'm roll. so used to VR, I keep moving my head to look through the turn. What I love about the trick is that it pretty much works for everything. It's just a bigger tree. I got two of them, so if I screw up... <laughs> let's see, let's see how Jay does in real life! Let's go, I'm so scared right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy, you got all the room right there all under right. the tree. Okay, ugly, but... Hey! Let's go! We're still flying and we didn't crash. You know what? It's easier than the game. <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, I thought the same thing the first time like I, I flew the Tiny Hawk Freestyle. I was like, oh, it really is just like lift up. Oh! <laughs> hey! Hey! Landed it! Hey! Okay, let's dude! That, you got a couple clean ones and then you hit some tiny little thing. Oh, I think the prop was hitting the antenna. Woo! Ooh, I touched it. You're so scared. Get I touched lower. It. it was all. <laughs> Get lower on the uh, on the exit. I'm trying. But I'm scared of the ground. <laughs> yeah. Well, think of it this way: if you hit the ground, at least you can still get the drone. Yeah, that's true, huh? Oh, hey, there's that <laughs> tire. Monster truck tire. I know, because if you if you screw it up, <laughs> yeah. then you got a long walk. 
I want to walk and your motors are all covered in sand. Oh, <laughs> I disarmed before I hit the ground, don't worry. <laughs> all right, I gotta go get it now. So my drone survived. I did bend one prop, which we were able to bend back. So I decided that since I got the split S maneuver starting to get down, I want to uh, start learning some other stuff that I can practice with up in the sky. So what, okay, what's the next natural progression from a split S to something else? So basically what I started doing with my split S is, um, one of my favorite things to do is when I do a split S, instead of just doing a half roll, do a full roll like that. There's a bunch of different ways to, to throw in things into your split S, you know what I mean? You can even, you can even put a front flip and then split S. Yeah, so look down and then do the roll. Which is why it's scary, because you're looking down, you're falling, but you're doing the roll. Ah, see, I'm gonna break my drone on this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, but you... see, this is the perfect example of getting used to the controls before you go practicing it. Exactly. All right, so what do you say we just practice some various maneuvers here and see what we can translate yeah. to in real life? Try throwing that roll in yours with us, see what happens. One of the fun things about this park is like, this is technically an RC park. So we got guys over there doing uh, trophy truck type RC jumps and stuff on an RC track. We've got obviously other drones flying around, ones that are much bigger, much louder, much faster than ours. So you're probably gonna hear them circling around as we go. Um, that's the nice thing about living in an area where like the parks are not banning RC stuff. They're giving them a place to go, which is kind of cool. So anyway, uh, I gotta be honest with you. Um, this is the first time we've ever tried anything like this, where we take a laptop into the field and then use it as a, not just a gaming you know, device, but also a tool where, yeah, sure, I had a few crashes. You can kind of see on the props, there's some scuffs on there that are, you know, I bent the prop twice and bent it back and still flew. But uh, I think as the day progressed, we've only been here for, shoot, two and a half hours, almost three hours, where uh, I was, actually able to progress and some of the guys over here that fly this big stuff were kind of surprised to find out this is only my second time flying this drone <laughs> and my second time ever trying acro, acro mode which is like we showed you it won't level itself if you go that way it'll just keep going that way until you bring it back somewhere split s's became very natural i started doing split s's with spirals because i was able to use the lenovo legion laptop with uh, my actual controller and i think this is an important part right here using the same controller and getting it set up in the in the game as closely as you can to the way this operates and, and responds based on control rates and stuff to be able to start to understand like if I do this, this, and this, what happens in the simulator is very, very, very close to what happens in real life. But the fact that we have an AMD 5800H in here, which is obviously uh, plenty of cores, 32 gigs of RAM, and an RTX 3080 Laptop Edition GPU in here, means that uh, we weren't completely honest with you with all of this. Everything you guys see right here was also used to bring you the video that you guys are watching right now, edited in real time while we were still here. With the exception of this last part, obviously. We wanted to get creative with this one. We want to show you guys like some practical real world use where not only do we use gaming aspect of it, we also use productivity aspect of it. Uh, the features of this laptop allowed us to not only practice, but also apply and then create all on the same system here in real time. In fact, the fans on this too never even kicked up. That's the crazy part about it. We didn't touch any of the fan profiles. We didn't go in and adjust any overclocking. We didn't adjust anything when it comes to noise or lighting. This is literally out of the box spec. And it might be the most powerful laptop we have and the most silent laptop we have. Because in the past, we've had so many laptops just be extremely intrusive and noisy, noisy, noisy? Intrusive and noisy 
Obviously, it's got plenty of ventilation like we've already showed. You got these massive vents and intakes on the side and the back, big intake vent on the bottom. Just uh, an absolute beast of a machine. So if you guys want to learn more about what Lenovo Legion has to offer and take a look at this unit directly, we'll put a link down in the description below. As always, guys, thanks for watching this video. Sound off with your comments on uh, your favorite laptop and how you feel about this Lenovo Legion and the way we chose to present it to you. And as always, guys, we'll see you in the next one.